I've been reading about pre-preg in, in terms of shafts. What, what does that mean? Pre-preg is a, is a carbon or a fabric, um, a composite fabric that has been pre-impregnated with the um, proper amount of adhesive or epoxy or whatever their binder is that they're using um, into the fabric. If you have, if you have too much epoxy, let's say, when you're mixing it within the fabric, it can actually be brittle and adds weight. If you have too little, it's not as strong. It's lighter, but it's not as strong because the fibers aren't being held together properly. So what, there's a scientific ratio that gets added based on the weave that they're using of epoxy. And so what prepreg is, is that in the factory where they manufacture um, carbon fiber or fiberglass or prepreg, they actually it's pre-impregnated scientifically to the exact proportion for strength and weight. Okay, so there's no wastage, you get the most strength out of it. The other thing about prepreg is it usually kicks off under high heat and high pressure. So because it's in a heated environment, it cures very, very hard. Um, on, like a tempered steel. You know, tempered steel is much stronger than, uh, um, than just a, a cold steel layup. So, um, what you're seeing is a lot of products going now to pre-preg. It's very strong. It's very expensive. Um, it's the same stuff they use in airplanes and Boeing and Airbus and all these guys use it. So all our manufacturing is all done with pre-preg now using um, for the shafts, for the blades, everything. So it's all under high heat, high pressure and uh, you know really really high-end stuff. So I mean there's a reason why um, you know uh, our products along with many other good paddles around you know they're expensive because you know they're using real state-of-the-art art materials okay so pre-preg means typically more durable no it could be more durable it would be more durable but you know again when you're talking about carbon carbon is brittle you know um, it's very stiff but it's very brittle fiberglass is a little heavier it's more flexible and it's not as brittle so there's hybrids that go back and forth and not necessarily when it gets lighter does it mean it gets stronger or more carbon does not mean a stronger paddle more carbon means a stiffer paddle but it doesn't mean a stronger paddle um, so uh, traditionally um, paddles that would be made of materials like fiberglass and Kevlar those would be really strong materials carbon is not a strength thing at all and I think there's a misconception that carbon is uh, really strong, but it's, uh, it's very stiff and light, but it's not strength oriented. What's the difference between using Kevlar cloth, it's Kevlar in the cloth, right? Yeah, Kevlar. And, Kevlar and carbon, carbon in the cloth. What's the difference? Well, what we're trying to do is we're trying to get the stiffness of the carbon and the weight and the strength, and in this case, we're trying to get flexibility, right? Uh, Kevlar is the same stuff they use in bulletproof vests. It's very strong, very durable, but it's not very stiff. So what we do is we are combining different types of fabrics to get, like I said, ter certain power coefficients out of certain shapes. So that that's why we have this. And within here, there are also different registrations of carbon, Kevlar, and fiberglass to make sure that it flexes right where we want it to flex.